very pleasant morning to all my dear children welcome back to english online class of sri gogulam public school guruvayur i hope you all are doing great and staying safe at home yes okay children then let's start our today's session we are discussing tenses from our english grammar text we already discussed the two tenses the present tense and the past tense and we also discussed the two forms of these two tenses isn't it which are those two forms children they are the simple form and the continuous form the simple present tense the simple past tense the present continuous tense and the past continuous tense isn't it yes so the things or the actions that are happening now are in the present tense are shown in the present tense the things or the actions that happened before are in the past tense and the things that hasn't happened yet are in the future tense for example nivedita sings a song which is a tense in the sentence children it is sings and it shows present tense we went to the zoo yesterday which is a tense in the sentence children it is past tense how did we know that it is past tense went by the verb form went next we will meet the prime minister next monday which is a tense in the sentence children it is future tense because will the word will denotes future tense it doesn't always denote future tense there are some other uses for will but will most probably is used to denote future tense let me give you some more examples for example the children were playing football which is a tense in this sentence children it is were playing and it shows past continuous tense what is the form of past continuous tense it is was or were plus were plus ing form here it is were plus play plus ing form it shows that it is a past action and continued for some time in the past okay that's why i used were playing and were is used with plural subject okay the child was playing football here i have used was because child is a singular person or a singular subject so i can use was and it also shows past continuous tense because i have used was playing okay the child is playing football which is the tense children it is present continuous tense because the form of present continuous tense is is or am or are plus verb plus ing form for example here it is is playing so is plus play plays a main verb plus ing form it forms the present continuous tense okay the children are playing football which is a tense children it is again present continuous tense but there is a slight change as the subject is plural children so i used are okay the children are playing football so i hope you all remember all these things that we discussed in the last class children today let's discuss the perfect tenses okay we'll discuss the perfect form and the perfect continuous form of the present tense and also the past tense so let's discuss present perfect tense first okay so when do we use this present perfect tense or so what is the form how is it seen children the form of present perfect tense is first you will have a subject subject plus has or have plus past participle of the main verb so which is the form children it is has or have plus past participle of the main verb for example has or have plus written okay the past participle is the third form of the verb for example write wrote written written is a third form okay begin began begun begun is a third form drink drank drunk drunk is a third form speak spoke spoken spoken is a third form study studied 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 is a third form so always we'll have to use the third form or the past participle of the main verb to show present perfect tenses in order to show perfect form you always have to use a third form of the verb that is the past participle of the main verb okay for example go went gone gone is a third form or the past participle do did done done is a third form or the past participle so you always have to use a third forms in order to denote the perfect tenses that it be perfect tense or perfect continuous form okay so the first one present perfect tense now when do we use this present perfect tense in order to show the actions that is just completed so we usually use perfect tenses to show that that action happened in the past 
but still have some effects in the present okay so those actions which happened in the past but still have effects in the present moment so in order to denote such actions we use present perfect tense so present perfect tense is used to show an action that has just completed for example the children have just come home the train has arrived at the station look at these two sentences in the first sentence the children have just come home so it shows that that action just happened now that action is over just now okay have come have just come so have come is a present perfect tense come was a third form come came come come is a third form so you always have to use a third form of the main verb or the past participle of the main verb okay look at the next sentence the train has arrived at the station tense here which words show the perfect tense it is has arrived arrived is a third form arrived 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 okay so that's why we use the train has arrived at the station present perfect tense is also used to denote an action that happened in the past and has continued up to the present moment for example i have studied in the school for 5 years now so it means that it has started in the past and it continues right it continues at the present moment have studied have studied shows the present perfect tense my father has lived in chennai for 6 years so has lived has lived is the present perfect tense okay so you have to use has or have plus the third form of the main verb or the past participle of the main verb to show present perfect tense i hope you all understood present perfect tense to the another form it is present perfect continuous form now let's see how does it look like isn't it first we have to know that how it looks like so the form of present perfect continuous tenses see if you see the word continuous immediately you have to know that you have to use ing with the verb okay let's see the form let's see how it looks like it is have or has plus been have or has plus been plus verb plus ing form that is how you use present perfect continuous tense okay now when do we use this present perfect continuous tense present perfect continuous tense is used to express an action or denote an action that is going on that has been going on for some time beginning in the past and is continuing at the present moment okay so i have told you that perfect tenses are used to bridge both the past and the present okay it brings a connection between the past and the present what was happened in the past has some effects in the present also it is for that purpose we use perfect tenses okay so present perfect continuous tense is used to denote an action that has been going on for some time beginning in the past and is continuing up to the present moment for example it has been raining continuously for the past 10 hours so which is a verb form that shows present perfect continuous tense still it is has been raining i have told you the form is has or have plus been plus verb plus ing form so has been raining okay now let's look at the another example i have been struggling to finish my work since last monday so which is the verb form that shows present perfect continuous tense it is have been struggling so i hope you all understood today's topic clearly so children it's time to wind up our session see you in the next class